Okay, let's continue the show. Pyramids finally got built 350 AD. Who built those? Yoga Mesh. That allows them to adopt any religious civic. That's also a valid coast tile for uh, the, the barbs to spawn to. I'm just not going to be able to perfectly cover everything that I want here. I'm going to have to going to have to settle for being sad. Great library gets built next turn. That's nice. Mm. I did not fix that whenever the barb archer moved onto that tile. Take that forest, Constantinople. Barb workers gallivanting around the atmosphere? The atmosphere, yes. <laughs> Why don't you give me a quiet check? Those furs would be nice for a little bit of extra happiness, but we're not having so much of a happiness problem anymore in our cities. Which is nice. Hmm. That's fine. Less fine. That's okay. Looking good there. Alright. Yeah, let's move this guy over here. Now I should have enough gold to grab philosophy. Oh yeah, I'll definitely have enough gold to go and grab philosophy. <laughs> Boy, I'd love to spark some wars. Another war, you know? It'd be great. But I don't have enough. The Dutch are going to be grabbing a currency soon. I have gained this by philosophy that I do. There's the pie. Commanded what others do only from fear of the law. Good. The pie is going to help me provide some cultural pressure on this area, so I can control this region. That's why I built it. That's plus eight culture right there. And you can also see with how early I built the terrace, uh, its cultural bonus has doubled. I think it's 2,000 years have to pass on the tracker before like a cultural bonus from a, the building will double. So the early buildings are what will see that, of course. Like my library here, I built so early that I've got double culture from that too. I don't remember the exact marker, but that plus eight culture is going to help uh, Machu Picchu exert control over its tiles. Um, I can start building the Sistine Chapel here. Since this city seems to be busy building other things, I guess. Growth in 11 turns. Ugh. Seven turns. Five turns. That's okay for me. Okay. Uh, Constantinople, why don't you take that tile? Damn right I completed the Great Library. And the Paya. Up to 507 beakers per turn in this golden age. That's not bad. Ooh, 
let's build a thing there. Return there. Ah, oh, Taoism got founded here. I don't really care. Um, a border city that I would like to have exert some cultural pressure so that I can control its tiles will be this one. Hmm. I get that growth next turn. War's possible, but I would have to give Zara everything I've got. He's already tech leader on this map anyway. I would I would have to give up too much. I will give uh Gilgamesh something though. I'm actually going to give him alphabet for forty gold. That gives me a bonus of, like, our tra trade relations have been fair and forthright. And everyone else has alphabet except for Willem, but I'm not going to be doing that with him. Because uh, that would upset Hattie, uh, because they're worst enemies of each other. For demonstration purposes, let's see whether that does anything. I don't want those. I can research monotheism if I want to. Like, it's easy for me to grab that. I guess I'll pick that up. Sure. So the reason why I wouldn't take a technology from someone if they're offering it to me is because um, AIs will only trade you so many technologies before they start to fear that you're becoming too advanced. Each AI has their own, like, set number on that. Now, if you're friendly with someone, they don't care. But I will accept this deal. And that actually didn't upset Hatshepsut at all. I am the Lord thy God. Neat. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Of course, I built the Pia, so it's not as if I needed that for organized religion. Why exactly did I grab it then? Because I have monarchy already. Fill not my tech tree, score guys. <laughs> what the fuck ever? <laughs> uh, you, oh, man. Silly Grimmith. Well, it happened. Do I really care about building the Parthenon? Not really, no. Let's swamp that out. Uh, you build wealth here for now. You give me Sistine. And you can build the Parthenon. Right, this was my city that I had slowly working on an engineer, and now I've polluted the engineer pool. I remember doing that several videos back, like having an engineer set to work here forever. Where did that plan go, Grimmeth? Oh, it went into the ether. <laughs> well, I mean, it was a good dream to have. I guess we might as well just further pollute the pool. Whatever. Build some shit. That way we can dominate this culturally for sure. This city could use some cultural help, but, uh... We're working on it, you know? Baby steps. Alright, that's not another settler coming down from the mountain yet. Chichen Itza got built. Who built ch chicken pizza? That was Egypt. A nice defensive wonder, and she is in a war that I bribed her in, so it's it's reasonable enough. Uh, hmm. What the hell do we even want from you? I actually want that border pop soon. 
10 turns. Yeah. And then by the time this stuff gets built, your borders will have definitely popped, and I'll just come back to you later. You'll figure it out, I'm sure. I have faith in you. Look at all my cities again. Narrow my brows. Narrow my brows? <laughs> what the hell ever, Grimmin? That's what you do with your brows. You narrow them. Not your eyes. Oh no. No, that would be too easy. Whip off that damn tile. There. Stupid junk forest tiles. Ugh. <laughs> Just recoiled there. <laughs> no. Why would you do that to me? That's fine. These cities can grow to size 6. Uh, some of them can. And then I'm going to have them, you know... Build some more useful things for me. Well, like workers. Lord knows I need a worker or two. The continuing struggle of Grimmit and these damn workers, because while well, while I'm building other things. A viewer has noted that, like, I say I need workers as I build other things. Well, there's a lot of other shit I need to get done while I have these cities grow. This city won't even have a damn road to it. Can't be spared. Let's go. thinking about my exact placement that I want to do here. I'm going to fly this worker up there. That worker could be a damn rocket ship. Alright. How are we looking? We'll get Sistine built soon. Let's keep growing the capital. We've got the happiness. Four more turns of Golden Age. You have tile improvements to grow on to. Plenty of. Because of how much I invested in growing, putting tile improvements in that city. That's fine. This is not. That's good. This city is continuing to take forever to grow, because I don't have any good tile improvements for it yet. It's gross. That's fine for this turn. Okay. I should have... What the hell am I doing? This city has so many damn tile and rumors over here. Why didn't I take one? Because I'm dumb. Herder! And also, I guess I kind of wanted to build the terrace, you know? Here, we'll get that terrace built. Chop that damn forest down. <laughs> Gotta keep an eye out for a settler that might go, What ah! 
Actually, I don't trust that a settler won't go, won't do that, won't make that exact sound. Damn amount of money. Here. Ah, one coin short. Hattie, we love each other, right? Yeah! Thanks, Hattie. You're the best. <laughs> Note that those give us a 10 turn peace treaty. Uh, that's almost like a, a tribute demand. That's like, well, she gave you gold, so. There you go. I will whip off these tiles again. Grab that forge for even more efficient whipping. You are going to build me a worker. And I'm not going to accidentally click off of something. There we go. Um, that's good. Chop this forest down next. Yeah, I'm willing to, uh, I just want that city settled. We'll build the, the road connecting it later. It takes us to 13 cities. 13 delicious cities. Yum, 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 yum. Fortify that. Uh, chop down that forest for me. Spread that there so we can get some uh, cultural pressure on these tiles. Versus the creative sieve. We don't have a whole lot of cultural pressure extending out there. I'd like to, I'd like to rectify that. There's two gold there. Just, I've had a hard enough time keeping keeping up with everything over here as it is, man. Use that tile, please, for the love of God. We just got it done. It's a great tile. It's a shame Judaism isn't in, uh, Cuzco. Damn it, Hattie. Get to work spreading that shit. <laughs> but, I do have Judaism in some of my cities, and that will help their, uh, production. I can also build missionaries of my own. What the hell? I'll spread... I'll spread Hattie's own damn religion. So I can benefit from that. Zara has civil service now. Damn. Damn. It is 475 AD. Perfectly understandable to have that by then. A man does not have himself killed for a half penny <laughs> a day or for a petty distinction. You must speak to the soul in order to elect him. Wait, you're angry? How dare you? We cannot forget your cruel oppression. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you are. <laughs> Sir, you are about to be oppressed. Do I whip something into you? Hmm. I have some overflow production here. No, I don't. We'll get some overflow production. I will get a settler out. And I'll, I'll remind them of my cruel oppression. They have some trouble, uh, you know. I mean, if they want something to remember me by, I'll, I'll give them something. Oh, yes. It's not a problem. We'll grab paper in two turns. 
fortify there. Is it worth me trying to spread irrigation to this? I guess. Don't require a lot of worker turns. Um, I guess chop that. Chop that. Yep, this will be how we get our infrastructure built here. Through the power of the whip. Hattie, you're too slow to spread your damn religion to me. <laughs> Hurry it up! <laughs> oh, that changes finish time quite a bit, particularly since um, our golden age is going to be ending after this turn. It's disheartening, but uh, can't be golden forever. That was a beautiful 12 turns, huh? That definitely uh, impacted my game. You know, gave some value to some of these damn cruddy tiles. Okay. You know what? Maybe that whip... Well, I do want you to grow. I was thinking about maybe putting it into a worker. The overflow hammers, but I will not... Single tear rolls down my cheek. <laughs> All these damn unimproved tiles of my empire. <laughs> well. Also, what a beautiful capital. Two food, three hammers, two commerce. Thanks, Golden Age. Willem's going after construction. I guess I'm going to put my espionage into Zara now, since he is definitely the tech leader. Bye, Golden Age. No, I'm good, but thank you. I refuse to help you during wartime. Eh, it's the war that I bribed you into, lady. I never said I wanted to fight a damn war. I lose out on growing Cusco another turn. Oh, well. We love the Monarch Day, yeah! You're damn right you love me. Or I'd kill you. Wouldn't want that to happen. Would you? Would you? Rest in peace, Golden Age. Gone but not forgotten. I'm just going to build a road there. Chop that. Build a farm there. Damn, I was hoping to make him friendly. Is there something the other two have that I could, like... Code of Laws. How about code? There we go. Oh man! <laughs> I should have checked that. <sighs> I thought he might... I thought he might declare it, please. That would have been something where I should have opened up, like, the, um... The XML files I have. To see when, when uh, you could bribe Gilgamesh to declare war on someone. Well, that sucks. He's pleased with everyone. <laughs> Damn, all that work to make him friendly with me so I could bribe him. <sighs> Disheartening. Well, at least he loves me. It means he won't plot war on me. <laughs> Damn you. Yes, use your workers here. Improve those tiles for me. So I can take them. Nui. 22 culture here per turn. And more is coming. Disheartening. I cannot live without books.
Okay. Um... One moment, please. Well, I think... ...deeply on life. I want... ...help over here. So let's just go ahead and scurry over. This will probably end up being the last turn. Again, these turns end up going slower as I am actually actively taking the time to manage everything. What happened to you whipping that? What the hell's the point of you managing things if you don't even whip the fucking thing? Oh, I'm mad at myself. Whip it anyway. <laughs> Damn it, Grimith. That's why you put the settler there. And so you whip it into the Taj. I'm taking all this time to manage this crap, and I'm still, like, leaving crap off, you know, and behind. Well, it happens. You're working in an unimproved tile. Unacceptable. Don't you speak moon runes to me. I'll let you grow for now. For now. Need to stack up some more culture there, though. Courthouse, you're fine. You're as fine as fine can be. You're working on it. You're sad. We're getting you help, Ika. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's gonna be the end of it. Whopping 540 AD. Slow turns. <laughs> Oh well. Managing an empire and not automating it. I guess that's what I decided that I wanted to do with this game. I'll talk to you later, everyone. Next time, we grab machinery. We're gonna grab guilds. No, we're gonna grab printing press for that extra commerce. Then we're gonna get guilds, which requires feudalism, of course. And none of my opponents have feudalism. Gilgamesh will trade me with cons for construction. It's actually a good thing to trade for, because we're friendly with each other. People have calendar and people have currency. Yeah, everyone's got calendar and currency. There. I don't want that, though. I'll take your world map. Fine, I'll give you five gold for the world map. Show me the world. And on the pedestal, these words appear. My name is Ozymandias, king of kings. Look on my works, ye mighty, and despair. I did not plan on finishing the rest of this turn. So, what a bizarre Pangea. Like, these other folks really end up being crunched for land. And in a race, if you want to, like build horse archers and sweep the world. You're gonna run into a dead end here when it gets to Gilgamesh, because he's got iron, which means he'll have spears, and he's got protective archers. And Willem here, just completely crunched. Like, I didn't realize that war would be so distant between Egypt and Willem, but at least she's using hammers and focus on that war. I'd really love uh, these two to fight, but so long as... Gilgamesh loves him, and Zara's the tech leader. I'll have to give it some thought. I'll talk to you folks later.